So I know Sandy just took a walk with Richie and there they are right there. So we're gonna actually join them. Changing color. We got Sophia, Sky, Sandy and Richie walking. We are joining you. Let's do this walk. It was really pretty on the back side. Sun is taking its time to come up. So we just walked through there and down that way. Now we're coming around the end, wrapping around this way. I did see a lot of kids go through here. I don't know what's there. I'm going to go take a walk and see. Yesterday I saw a lot of kids going in here. Are they the bathrooms? Okay, yep. Laundry mat. Yep, okay. There's the laundry. There's the pool. Oh, you know what? It was my bad. I saw it, babe. I'm sorry. My bad. I saw them going there. Yeah. So let's walk over there. Oh, I like that sign on that refrigerator, Richie. There's the green tea. The flag fell. I got a nice picture. Yep. I'm going to leave that down. But I actually have a picture of that last night in the light. And it's on our... Instagram account at T Squad RVing. Let's walk here. This is the recreational hall. I guess they got some something going on today. I think it's pumpkin painting, which is pretty cool. Pretty sure it's locked. And we will try. Yep, it's locked.
no rollerblade. <laughs> so it must be open in there. Nice little volleyball net right there next to Yogi. And then you have the play area for the kids. And there's the pool in the distance right over there. That's the pool and that's the registration. You know, earlier in the spring before COVID, we were supposed to be here. So we got delayed a few months, obviously. And we were supposed to be in the deluxe back there. But I'll tell you what, I like this spot right here. So let's talk about something real quick again that we had to deal with in Newberry, Michigan, was the reverse polarity for our uh, plug. And what happened is, I put my tester on again, right there, and it said reverse polarity, so I called maintenance and he assured me it was okay. So actually I plugged into the 30 amp, which was all green, no no reverse polarity and everything. So we're using 30 amp right now. I think that's safe, a safe bet for us anyways. So we do our normal setup with our, our orange from our black and gray tanks all the way. And we dump inside there. We have our filter, same thing as usual, no cable, no TV, but I gotta tell you, the set, the antenna is just as good. So one thing I wanna note about Grand Design Reflection is, that pipe coming out is from the kitchen. I don't know if I said this in my previous videos. That's the only downfall, I think, on this rig. But I understand why they do it, because you don't use it much. You don't use the exterior kitchen much. So why do you have to put that exterior kitchen inside of a tank? But it is inconvenient to connect this because when you do want to use it, you cannot leave it open. And you have to open it because it would just flood the exterior kitchen sink. But I understand why they do it. So this way you can just plug in and there's this disconnect. It's no big deal. I do it all the time. We do it every time because we use our exterior kitchen. So this is the first time I am using my two storage compartments that I made the two I'll post the video up here and you could just check out the installation of how I installed this one but this one I did earlier in the season and the reason I did is because this one right here even though it's broken I did order a new door this one right here cost so much money so I end up buying this for like a quarter of the price this is and right here and that's the inside and this one, you can see how the pipes just fit. My black pipes coming from the exterior kitchen go inside here. And my two orange fit perfectly here. And here's another 20 footer just in case. Because we were at a site, we were short 10 feet. I purchased two more just in case. Things I want to say is, you know how nice it is when uh, other campers next to you come up to you and ask you questions of how you do things and 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 why you do things the way you do them and then they're like man I never thought of that well that is awesome and I love to help but I learned with my from my brother-in-law and then I pick up as I go so it's pretty cool that you can have people that ask you and not only that you get followers as well because they are all like I'm gonna subscribe to your channel which is awesome so thank you so what we're gonna do is we have three tanks on this unit on the RV we have a black tank a gray tank which is the kitchen which is the kitchen sink pretty much and then we have a front tank in the front which is our shower in our our bathroom sink that one normally I do last because the shower has soap and water so what I do here I'm going to pull the black tank it's gonna flush out of here going down to the pipe usually I ask Richie to be here with me just in case I have to hold the pipe down anything can happen shut it off so we're gonna pull it. So now it's all draining. It's draining into the sewer. So we're gonna let that sit for about, until it drains. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the Navalis Center and I'll show you what I do here. So what I'm gonna do here is, I connected my hose to the black water flush tank. And my hose is from the outside. Normally I would take it this is so okay because no black water is going to come through here. The reason this is black right here 
is because it's just a reminder that this is your black water tank. So what I do is I connect it and I'll turn on my water. Now water is gonna come through here. And what it's gonna do is it's going to spray water on the inside of the black tank on the sides. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna spray it on the side. So any toilet paper that's left over is gonna be pushed to the bottom and it's gonna be flushed out. I usually leave that on, I'd say, what do you think, Richie, about 20, 25 minutes, something like that? Because you never know what kind of toilet paper is still just hanging around um, on the sides or anything. So it's spraying water and it's gonna push it down to the pipe. So we're gonna let that sit for about 20 minutes. Looks pretty clear now. Warming up. Watch out, everyone! Oh, that's great. You can record. I'm already. Oh. This is what happens when it's fall and you're doing your work outside. The wife sends you out with coffee. Mm. Look at this, Richie. Did you notice that? This is the first time I've noticed that there was a light here. <laughs> Did you notice that? Really, you didn't notice that light? I didn't either. Look at that. <laughs> that is pretty cool because if you're dumping at night and you have a clear tube onto this, which I'm going to upgrade next, I'm going to put a clear tube so I can see what's coming out of it. So we just completed the black water uh, tank flush and we flushed it through our system. So now nothing but clear stuff is coming out. So we're going to actually close it right now. So. We are gonna open up the gray water tank right now and I'll show you what it looks like. It's nothing to see. Yeah, we're done. Don't you have to switch off stuff? Nope, we're good. So this is the kitchen sink. It's all the dishes that the, the wife and uh, Lexi wash and obviously not me and Richie, but, um, and this is all the kitchen sinks. You see how nice and clear it is. So we're gonna let that drain for about two, three minutes until it's empty and then we're gonna dump the my favorite, which is the shower, which is all the soapy water, and it flushes the whole hose and everything. Okay, so we are done with the front tank, actually the rear tank. So right now we are going to uh, go ahead and open the rear tank, the front tank, which is the bath. So this green knob right here is our bathroom tank, which is the front tank. So I'm gonna pull it and it should flush my entire hose and it should be nice and clean. And we are pretty much done with the hoses. Look at all that clean, fresh water from our clean people in our unit. So that's pretty much cleaning all the hoses out. Other than that, we are done flushing. So now that I emptied all the tanks, there's gonna be some sort of water and it freaks people out when they see some water coming out of here. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna detach it from here. That's all clean water. We're gonna Beautiful. seal this up. When you're ready, yep, we're, we're done. Do a, my slides and have to off the top. Okay. And then what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna lift this up so all the water gets drained, okay? We're gonna spread it. Holes are done, they're clean, I don't have to worry about anything else. I'm gonna detach it. First thing I'm gonna do is throw this cap back on. Okay, nothing gets down there. Good. We're good. Now, the rest is we're gonna throw our pipes. Inside of our new. This is our new storage container. And there's our three tanks, uh, three holding tanks right there. So and I'll close all these and I'll duct tape them real quick. So those are done. So next thing we do, and by the way, I do want to say that Richie usually does this, but right now we're recording, so I'm doing it. He's recording me.
Next, we will detach the water. So we're gonna shut the water off first. And what I do is I always depressurize it. <clears throat> by turning the exterior water on. And now I'll detach the water. I should say detach this from the water. I usually leave this tipped over for a few minutes to drain. But what's nice about this, I wanna show you something. So I wanna show you how easy this is. Yeah. Okay. Look how easy this zero G uh, hose is to wind. I always put a paper towel and wipe it as I go. Look how easy this is. Put this clip on like this. And we hang it up. See how nice and clean he made those? So this way, Sandy already closed this slide. Now, She's gonna call this one when Richie gives her the approval. But this will just give you an example of what was up here. All this is up here. Yeah, it's expected because we do have this tree that we're under. And now he'll do this one right here and there's Lexi. Say hi, Lexi. Hi. So this is it. But this is a nice view of this park from up here. I don't know why Dad locked it. Your chain's not hooked up with Look at how beautiful. By the way, that's the new part of Jellystone right there, across the, right there. Good job, Rich, I think you got it. Yep, you're good. There's Sandy closing the kitchen slide. We are, oh, it is so warm in here. Wow, you guys clean pretty good. Well, we still have to clean when we get home. I know, but this is pretty neat how you guys cleaned all this. Yeah. We have to make sure we sweep so the slides don't get dirty. Yep, and that's what he's doing, so. Well, and that in the floor has to be swept before the slides don't get dirty. Right. Want to take this with you? Um, you could just put it in my camera bag. That'd be great. So we are all done with closing all the slide outs. So now it's time to detach our electrical. Over here, we'll shut our 30 off. We'll unplug. We are done. Richie will come, he'll wind this up and put it back.